looking at uh, section 1.2. Uh, in this, we're transitioning from the larger idea of looking for patterns, and we're just exploring a simple technique, making systematic lists. It's something that mathematicians do all the time. They get organized, and they look at a problem through kind of a systematic way of arguing, maybe starting with one extreme and working their way to the end, the logical end of that system. All right, so I got a little problem here. How many ways, how many different ways is there to have uh, two heads and three tails if we toss five coins? Okay, so imagine coins one, two, three, four, five. Or we could be tossing just one coin five times. But how many different ways can you wind up saying, hey, we've done this... Uh, tossing five coins, or one coin five times, and we wound up with two heads and, and three tails. So, step number one would be sort of start from one extreme or the other. So I'm thinking either it's two heads and three tails, or three tails and two heads, and it does not matter. So I'm just going to start with two heads like this, and then three tails. So that's my most extreme starting point. Then I'm going to think about, well, how can I change this and have it be different? If I change these tails, that's not going to be different. So I have to go back to my first different coin and think about, well, what can, how can this change, these last four coins change? And so if this is a head, this could be, this head here in the two position could go here, or it could go here, or it could go here. And then the tails you can just fill in. And there's a head, but now there's a tail and a tail like that. And there's my head, and there's my tail, and tail, and tail. So I've just counted right here four different ways that I can have two heads and three tails. Is that all of them? Well, no, because I've exhausted all of the heads here. There's no other different way that I can have a head in the first position and have four other coins be any different than these four, because the, head, the only remaining head can only go in one of those four spots. But then there could be tails, all right? So if I change this now and have a tail here, then I could put my two heads there, and then the two tails could go there. Again, arguing from grouping them um, as sort of my extreme position there. Well, for the same reason, I have to go until I get to this head here before I'll notice any difference between, and then this head can go there or there. Okay, with my tails filling in like that. And again, this being heads and this being tails. And there's three more positions. So I've got four here and three right there. Okay, well, now that I've got tails and heads all filled in, the only other thing I could do would have be tails right here and then one tail remaining. So I could say, well, here's my extreme position. Um, I would have my heads and heads like this with my one tail. Well, then that one tail can only go there or there, and I've got three more. So I'll let you draw that out if I've gone too fast, but you'll see there are, in fact, only ten different ways to have two heads and three tails be mixed up in a group of five coins. All right? So that's an example of working out a systematic way of listing all possible solutions there. All right. Another one would be, suppose we take toothpicks and we're just going to arrange them into making a triangle. All right. You can do problems that are similar with coins or um, arranging uh, jobs that take different amounts of time and you're looking at patterns to, to solve that problem. Then this one, we're going to say, suppose we have 13 toothpicks. And we're going to make triangles, all right? Well, there's a simple geometric fact, which I think is a good one to kind of introduce since we're integrating math this year. Um, we're looking at a geometric shape called a triangle. Well, with 13 toothpicks, um, again, I'm going to argue from the extreme and look at how many different triangles. How many different triangles can I make with 13 toothpicks? start from the extreme. Well, can I have a triangle that goes one toothpick, one toothpick, and then 11 toothpicks? And the answer is no, because if you draw 
if you put 11 toothpicks down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, these little toothpicks on the end are in no way going to make a triangle. The rule of triangle inequality is that the two shorter sides have to add up to be longer than the longest side. So I would just kind of mentally count through from that extreme while well, 1, 2, 10, 1, 3, 9. None of these are going to make triangles because 1 plus 3 is not greater than 9. What's the first combination that has 1 that we'll, I'll get to? You can just shout at the camera and stop me when I'm there. Do I have a triangle yet? Well, 1 plus 5 makes 6 and is not bigger than 7. It's not until I get to 1, 6, 6 that I actually wind up with a triangle that will be made from these toothpicks because 1 plus 6 is 7 and that's greater. So I could make a triangle that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 toothpicks, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then one toothpick across the bottom like that. So there's one configuration that will give me a triangle with 13 toothpicks. How many total ways are there? Well, let's find the second one. If I go 2, I'm never going to drop down to 1 because I've already done all of the 1's. The 1's, I check that off my list. Okay, that's the systematic part about our list. Once we've done the 1's, we don't have to go back. We don't keep rediscovering or thinking we do. But, and then I'm, so I'm not going to go down to 1, but I could try 2, 2, 2, and then 9. But that adds up to 4, and that's not bigger. So then 2 and 3 and 8, not good enough. 2 and 4 and 7. 2 and 5 and 6 is the first one where these two add up to be more than that. All right? And I found another triangle that works. Okay? See if you can complete this systematic list and find all of the triangles that have 13 toothpicks. Once you've done that, see how many of them are isosceles. Isosceles are triangles like this where you've got two equal sides. All right? I'll give you a hint. Half of them that you'll find are isosceles out of the total. So maybe that'll help you check your work. Good luck with that.